friends welcome everyone today in this video i'm going to show you how to use nmap so what is basically nmap nmap is a tool that is available in linux as well as windows platform so this is basically a port scanning tool which you, you can use to scan an ip address or a domain to get the information about the domain so in the terms of hacking we call it as information gathering phase so what we basically do is uh, we scan the target for all the possible potential information that we get from the target so i'll show you a quick demo how to use nmap so as you can see here uh, i have uploaded uh, i've loaded the zenmap which is basically the gui for the nmap in windows uh, you can also use the same tool nmap in linux also just by using the command nmap so uh, here you can see the form for the target where basically I'll be uh, entering the IP address or the domain name for the particular target which I want to attack. So here is a list of scan which I, uh, which I can use uh, for the target. So as you can see uh, I have a list of uh, types of the scan which I can use. So it's like I have an intense scan, intense scan with UDP ports and TCP support. Similarly, I have a pink scan, quick scan, and at last we have a slow comprehensive scan, which basically targets a you uh, like, which basically target the domain or the IP address to obtain all the possible information. So for the time being, I'll be showing you how to use like intense scan. So uh, I'll be inputting the target. So which is basically like for example here we have flipkart flipkart.com after i enter the domain name uh, i'll enter the scan option so now this nmap will start the scan on the target so as here in the command bar you can see uh, something is written over here which is called as like the command line input which is basically given to the nmap so here we can see nmap hyphen t 4 a which basically loads uh, all the scripts used for uh, scanning purposes v hyphen v shows this verbose output and followed by the domain name so like here uh, the scan is loaded and it will start showing us the results like we can see over here we have got the IP address of the target and it has started the DNS resolution followed by scanning for the open ports so you can see over here that like port 80 is open which is basically like HTTPS port followed by port number 443 which is for the secure HTTP and we have another port 1087 which is a TCP port used by Flipkart for some other services running on their server so let's uh, let's see now the nmap is trying to detect the operating system running on the uh, web servers of flipkart uh, afterwards okay we have got some of the results uh, like we have got the uh, we have got the trace route information we have got the domain name information for the flipkart so i'll demonstrate you a few of the results which you can get in the nmap tool like uh, over here we can see the topology okay uh, i'll round it our around the okay so what happens is like this uh, the request which i have sent to this which is flipkart.com uh, goes from my computer over here to this following ip addresses which is this uh, like a range of ip addresses this is basically my isp providers and followed by a few international or national ISP providers which finally at the last go to flipkart.com like you can see over here so there is a basically a range of IP addresses uh, through which my request follows at last uh, the result goes to the flipkart.com uh, here in this uh, port slash host results we can see uh, the services running on the web server of uh, flipkart.com so we have over here http https uh, along with which we have 1087 port number which is some other tcp services uh, running on the flipkart.com uh, followed by uh, like something interesting about nmap is like it try to detect the operating system and give us the information about uh, the host 
so here we have got to know that it's running on some linux operating system uh, here we can see the like ports use operating system classes okay um okay here we can see that like in the results the nmap has scanned for 1000 ports uh, out of which 997 are filtered and 3 or 3 are open ports and uh, so uh, let me see if another information is available about uh, flipkart.com okay um, So here we can see that like we have got some few informations about the certificate authority uh, of Flipkart which is uh, godaddy.com Okay, uh, let me see for any other relevant information Okay, so finally like you can see we have got a lot of information about the flipkart.com the various services running uh, operating system IP addresses and how like our request from the local host goes to the flipkart server so apart from it if you want you can scan for the uh, complete network inside an organization to get to know about the various ip addresses in that uh, organization and you also get to know about uh, for a particular host if you want to scan you get to know about the particular services ports and operating system running on that uh, uh, on that web server or an IP address so I hope you like the video thanks for watching